This movie will show how Unroute Pro software makes it easy to work with VectorArt 3D files. The first thing I'm going to do is open a new file. This will prompt me to define my plate, and this is in reference to the X, Y, and Z dimensions of my material. In this case, I'm going to choose a size just a little bit bigger than the part I want to cut. Then I'll hit OK. The plate will be referenced on screen with the red line representing a square or a rectangle. If I double click the word top, I can see a four view perspective. Now I'm going to import the VectorArt 3D file and the type of format we're going to use is STL. STL is a mesh file. I select the file I want to import, paying attention to the letter to indicate the style of clip art that I'm bringing in, and I'll hit the open button. The file comes in a little bit bigger than I'd like because it was saved in millimeters and STL files are not unit specific. To resize it, I'm going to click the F2 button which brings up the precision input center and with proportional checked, I'll resize it to the size part I want. If I zoom in on the part, I can see that it's a mesh object and if I shade it, I can see that a surface is formed. To work with this file, we need to add it to an existing relief. So the next step will be to create a relief that I can add this mesh file to. Any shape can be used in route. I'm just going to draw a circle for this example and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than the shape I want to create. I'm not paying too much attention to the size of it at this point. I'm going to hit close select my 2D circle and go to create relief. I want to choose a flat relief with no thickness and I'm going to get a, bit, a resolution of 100 dots per inch. I'll hit the apply button and the gray lines indicate that a relief has been created. If I hit my shading button I can see that a 3D relief was created inside the circle and I can even see where the mesh file is poking up through my newly created relief. If I double click the top view, I'll see that both the relief and the mesh object are resting right on top of the plate. The next step will be to apply the mesh to the relief. I'm going to do this by selecting my relief, holding down the shift key, and selecting the mesh object. Now I'll go to the surface menu and choose apply mesh. This will bring up a little window at the bottom. I'm going to choose a faceted method of applying this relief which will not put any smoothing on it and I'm going to add it to my existing relief. I hit apply and the mesh object is transferred to my relief. At this point I may continue to use the mesh object and because when I imported it it came to its own layer I can just simply scroll through the layers just to isolate the relief view. At any time I can turn on all the layer views at the same time. So now we can see we've created a relief and incorporated the mesh to the relief. If I want to create an outline of this part, I can select my relief and go to the surface menu and extract slices. Again the wizard appears at the bottom of the screen. It prompts me to select a relief that I want to create a slice for. I'll select my relief and it automatically reads the thickness as 0 .4001. I want to create one slice of this relief so I'm just going to hit the check button and anywhere the first pixel that comes up from zero thickness a line will be created. So now I can select my original 2D shape and delete it and the new process of slicing has provided me an outline of the part. Now I'm free to resize this part, to rotate it, or to any other way try and modify it. I can also incorporate it as part of a different design or I can create my toolpath and, and cut this particular part out as it exists. We're going to show you how to toolpath this part in a different movie. This concludes 
the movie of how easy it is to work with vector art 3d files in en route software